Hi class, welcome to PSY 111, Introduction to Psychology. You may be registered for section DL1 or DL3. This is the same class. My name is Christine Henderson and I will be your professor for this course this semester. I'm really excited to share an introduction to psychology with you and to get to know you all. I created this video so I could show you through our course shell um, all the different um, setup and organization that I've created for the course and um, just some ways to navigate the things that we'll be doing in this course. This is our home page and anytime you want to get back to the home page you would just click here. On the home page you'll see any announcements that I send out. You'll also be able to see your grades and there's a Blackboard student orientation here if you have never used Blackboard before or you could just use a refresher. That is a good way to um, see how to use the various features in Blackboard. Over here is what we call the course menu. And so you, all of these um, links that are in the course menu are things that you'll be using in this course. So as I mentioned, anytime you click here, it'll bring you back to this screen. Announcements you will see here, but you can also click here to see any announcements. My announcements are also emailed to you, so make sure that you're checking your SUNY Orange email on a regular basis. Here is course information, which contains a lot of great information that you will need to be successful in this course. So I'm going to take you to that section and show you what's here. So we have the syllabus. We have the course schedule, which is going to be essential in your organization and managing your time for this course. If you click that PDF, the course schedule will open and you can see what topics we're covering each week, what readings are required, what learning activities you'll be, you'll be engaging in, and when they are due. So this outlines the entire semester week by week. So you can use this to plan and organize yourself for the entire semester. Also, you'll see that our weeks, um, I, I basically we use Monday through Sunday um, so that I can spread things out and give you time to complete your readings and your discussions and any other assignments. Also in the course information section, you'll find the um, textbook for this course. As per the email that I sent out and um, the information that's in the syllabus, this is an OER course and that's Open Educational Resources course. And for our course, um, there is no cost for your textbook or any of the resources. I provide the textbook um, in a PDF version here. And also, if you click here, you can go to the online interactive version. Um, and any other videos or readings that I um, assign are all provided to you through files or links. So you do not have to purchase a textbook for this course. I recommend you use the interactive version um, only because there are some links within the content that bring you to additional information or additional videos that can really help with your comprehension of the of the content. And also you'll be able to take the um, quizzes that can help test your knowledge and understanding of, of what you're reading. Another um, thing that I put into the course information was a link to um, some Blackboard video tutorials. They're basically how-to videos and you'll see if you need to utilize this, you'll see that there are a variety of how to take a quiz, how to submit a file, how to submit an assignment, how to uh, post to a discussion forum. So if you're ever feeling stuck or you're not sure how to do something, um, you'll, you'll find these videos pretty useful. And as we scroll down, there's a folder for our discussion forums. Um, you do have weekly discussion forums and um, these are the requirements. 
This is also in the syllabus. I just copied and pasted it here for your convenience so you can have easy access to these requirements. And this outlines the, re the requirements for the discussion forums for your posts as well as your responses. And then if you scroll down, you'll see um, what is meant by a substantive post. Um, and this tells you the things that you can do to add value and to make sure that your post and your responses in, a, in the discussion forums are substantive. Um, things like, I really like what you wrote, um, is not a substantive post. Um, or I totally agree with you, not a substantive post. So you'll read this and see what I mean um, in terms of creating substantive posts and responses. And there's also a file here about discussion forum do's and don'ts that can be helpful for you to review as well. So now I'm going to go back to the course information section and show you what else is in this area of the course menu. So if we scroll down again, after discussion forums, there is a participation assignments folder. And this, um, again, just outlines the details of the participation assignments. Um, the information is the same as what is in the syllabus. And then the final project folder. Um, if we go into the final project folder, here is where you will find um, the details, the requirements of your final project the grading rubric that is used to grade your final project and two sample projects um, that help that may help to guide you when you start creating your final project. So we will talk about the final project a couple of weeks into the semester as well. So back to course information so I can show you the last thing in this area and that is information on APA format. APA format is required in this course in terms of your references or your sources of information. In MLA format, it's typically referred to as your works cited or a bibliography, but in APA, we call it references or the reference list. You're not required to do a cover page or an abstract or page titles, but what I am asking you to do is a reference list that is in APA format anytime that you use a source of information in this course. Okay, so now let's go over to the weekly folders, which is where you're going to be spending a majority of your time. And week one is available to you. Um, you'll always see week one and then the dates of the week. As I mentioned, we go from Monday through Sunday so I can spread out things for you. And then so you're going to click into the week one folder and you're going to see um, a snapshot of what you would see on the course schedule for week one as a reminder of what is being covered for the week, what readings are required, any videos, any other articles, you know, would be here. And um, also the um, activity, learning activities and assessments that are due and when. So if you scroll down, then you will see any of those things, such as the critical thinking video that is required and any of the assignments or assessments as well. So during week one, um, the first participation assignment is an introduction and a plan. And so um, the details of this are list is listed here. So read through this thoroughly. I also let you know how this is being graded. And when you are ready to start this assignment, you would click this link here and it will bring you to the assignment where you're going to submit your introduction and your plan, as well as where you're going to um, post your responses. This is, in a dis this is in a discussion forum format. However, it is being graded as a participation assignment. Then you will see in each folder your weekly discussion forums. Um, and it'll tell you to click week one. And then once you click this link, you'll click create thread. And then you'll be able to see the details of the discussion forum and what you are supposed to post. Um, you will not see any of your classmates' posts until you submit your own post and thread, and then you'll be able to do your responses. Also in week one, you'll see there's the syllabus assignment, which is in the format of a quiz, but you, um, you are not being timed. Um, just as long as you submit your answers to this assignment, 
by the due date, no later than 11.59 p.m., then you'll be all good. Okay, so in these weekly folders is where you'll see, again, a snapshot of the week, what's due, what you're supposed to read, any videos or articles, and then your assignments, uh, weekly discussions, and any other assignments and or quizzes. So if we go back to the weekly folder list, as of right now, you only have access to week one. But uh, on the Friday of the week that we're in, so for example, on Friday, January 24th, at midnight, week two's folder will open. So you can start to look ahead and, and prepare yourself for the following week. Another link in the course information section is your grades. And here is where you will be able to see all of the assignments. And obviously there are no grades in here right now, but you'll see up here will be your course average. And then you'll be able to see your grades for each and every assignment and discussion and quiz um, throughout the entire semester. So as soon as you submit an assignment, I will grade it as soon as possible, and then you'll be able to see your class average in real time. Also in the course menu, there is um, a link where you can be brought to information regarding academic support. Um, obviously, if you're having any issues or trouble or concerns, you want to reach out to me right away. Communication in this course is very important, um, so please let me know if you are struggling or if you are having any issues. Um, and I'm be happy to help or point you in the direction of someone who can help. Um, academic support um, outlines all the different supports that are available at SUNY Orange for our students to help them be successful in their classes and in college. Um, if you are having any technical issues, um, I will tell you not to reach out to me first, but to first reach out to the uh, SUNY Help Desk. Um, because they are going to be able to troubleshoot what's going on and help you work through whatever technical difficulties that you are or that you may be having. Um, of course, then you can let me know after the fact, but your first line of contact for any technical issues should be the SUNY Help Desk. Um, I will tell you a couple of things. Um, Blackboard and certain web browsers um, don't always play very nice. So for example, Safari uh, and Blackboard don't play very nice. So you may not have complete functionality of Blackboard if you're trying to access it via um, Safari, um, or even there's sometimes some issues with Internet Explorer. So your best bet is to use um, Google Chrome or to use um, some other um, some other uh, web browser, okay? Um, and also, if you are using um, a, a device, you know, you may or may not have full functionality, um, you know, but just be aware of that and have a backup plan to be able to use something else to access um, this course and to be able to submit things as well. So that's about it for our introduction to this course. As I mentioned, I am very excited to be able to share this course and the contents of it with you. Um, I look forward to our discussions, to hearing your thoughts, your perspectives, how you're going to apply this information to your life, um, and getting to know you all. So um, here's to a great semester. And just to give you a little bit of incentive as we begin this semester, if you email me after watching this video and tell me what the sign says that I'm holding in this picture, I will give you five bonus points that I will add on to your lowest grade at the end of the semester.